Hey everybody, this is Kristen with Epic Childhood and the Ultimate Light Table Guide, and today I'm here with the Wonder.1 Light Table, and that's actually their website, and the name of their light table is Wonder.1. So you might be wondering, what is this odd contraption at the top? Well, in a way, they intend this to do this, and in a way they don't. Um, they actually have this set up so that a child can use this as kind of like a, an easel, and this is like the chalkboard side, and then this is like the dry erase side. But what I found out when I first uh, received this light table from the company is that it actually, with this clear plexiglass, kind of acts as a mirror. So it's almost like how in Montessori you have kind of like the mirror triangle. And I know this doesn't really like count as a mirror triangle, but it, it kind of has the same feel in a way. So it would be really neat to have another part that you could have here that has kind of one of those like reflective, what do they call it, mirror tape or something like that, where, I don't know, it's just kind of like a like a big sticker, like a mirror sticker or something like that, and I don't know how good that's going to look because, you know, it's not an actual mirror, but um, when you're having this with children, you don't want to have something that's breakable, so if you could find maybe, oh, another really great idea is you could go and get a few of those unbreakable mirrors, like from Discount School Supplies, I believe they call them mirror trays on their website, you could actually tape or glue them on and even though it would be multiple mirrors, it would still kind of have the same effect as well. But anyway, without further ado, let me take down this contraption and I will uh, put the phone down for a moment and then I will pick it back up and we'll get on with the review. Alright, before I move too much further into this, I want to uh, point out that this table actually has more than just those two different, um, what do you call it, tops, I'm sorry, <laughs> where's the words? Okay, so this is the clear top, of course, the clear plexi, and you can actually play on this surface, or you can just remove it and have the child play in the surface. So what is, um, what I do want to say is that do not allow your kids to play uh, with like a whole bunch of magnet tiles on top of here, whereas it could be a really cool idea to have um, like, maybe you put something down here that kind of represents water, um, and then you can have, you know, the child build their magnet tiles up here. But the problem is, is that there are these braces at all four corners um but they don't have them in the the sides so the table sags or i'm sorry the top sags really bad and it almost like acts like it wants to sag to the point where it could break um so if you were able to find something to hook onto here to brace these sides your child could actually build a big magnet tile castle on here but until you know that becomes a thing with the table or somebody figures out how to do that. We personally are not going to do that. So let me open this up. You can see again, see how that reflects. It's really neat. All right, and then before I get too far, I want to show you the other top that they sent us. Okay. Oops, let me straighten this up. So this is really cute. Oh, oops, let me hold it up this way, actually. It's a really cute alphabet. There's lots of little games you could play with this for the younger children. It's, it's really cute. I like how the J is a jellyfish that's smiling. And then, the flip side. Welcome to the flip side. Okay. <laughs> it is a little town. It's not adorable. It's got a little farm, a little factory, some houses. And, a windmill by the stream and the hospital and an amusement park and a bridge and I don't know what that is over there but maybe it goes with the amusement park <laughs> anyway it's really cute so uh, it looks like train tracks but you know the kids could use them also as a, a road for the little cars so this is 
super fun. It's really cute. Uh, they also make a um, top that is for Lego. And there is one other top that I believe they do. And honestly, at this point, I cannot remember what it is. Um, now, you're probably wondering about sensory play in here and using sensory materials such as anything with, you know, like your sands, your, uh, your silly putty and slime, um, the kinetic sand, all those types of types of things. As long as it's dry, you can use those things in here. Now, if you have something that has a lot of moisture in it, I would advise putting it into some sort of a tray to put it in here. Now, they don't make a clear, you know, water play tray for this table, but the owner of the company actually recently tested out a few that they had found on Amazon, and they have found one um, that fits in there, um, but leaves room on the sides, and they found another one that pretty much fits in the whole entire space. Um, so I will link that in the blog post so you can actually go and get yourself, you know, a clear acrylic tray to go with the light table. Now, this is one of the most affordable light tables that I have actually seen on the market in quite a while. Uh, and what I really, really like about this is it's a very true white in the color. Now, I have noticed that a lot of the LED light tables, sometimes you'll get a little bit of a pink hue or a little bit of a blue hue on your white, but this one is a really outstanding white, and I really like that about this. I also really like that there's this nice space with the sides so that if you have younger children that tend to like to, you know, kind of build things up in the corner. I know anybody who has young children or has, you know, worked in child care and have had sensory tables for the children, you know, you always have those digger children, the ones that immediately their first reaction when they see a sensory material, whether it be sand or, you know, uh, kinetic sand or whatever, they want to grab it all and quickly dig as fast as they can and get it into the corner. And they tend to build up pretty high, but since this has such a good lip on it, you shouldn't have too much of a problem with the kids that are your corner diggers. <laughs> um, now, what's really neat about this is there is a little side compartment over here and you can store some of the materials that the kids are playing with or whatever they're playing with that day then uh, i forgot to mention that it's actually adjustable in height uh, we have it on let me look here God, I don't know if it's very visible here but they have a screw and I'm sorry it's just not going in focus very well all right that's fine we'll just talk about it up here <laughs> there is a screw that is very easily removed and then you just kind of adjust the the height to where you want it uh, we have it on I believe it's the second highest height um, it goes down lower for smaller children and you know nice and low actually for smaller children and then it goes up even higher for your older children um, or your younger children who prefer to stand at the table. So they kind of have, you know, a really good thing going here with the fact that it's adjustable in height and that really helps work out in different scenarios, you know, different ages of children and then maybe you might be using this in a child care facility and uh, you might need it to be lower and maybe you have couple little chairs at the table or maybe you might need it to stay high um, so that the children can stand around it. Um, as far as how many children can play at this, if they're very young, I would say three or four. Um, now your fourth child is going to have this in front of them, but that shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, they'll have to reach a little further to play over here. Um, so let's say comfortably three can go at this table. Um, now, depending on how the children get along and play together, you know, as far as in, in very close proximity, you might be able to get 
two on the wide sides on each side so four and then one on this side and one on this side but again we're dealing with this here which is it's it's great to have this here but if you want to have that extra child over here they are going to have to reach a little further so maybe an older taller child could go here and then your younger children on these other sides um, so it just depends on how comfortably your kids now if this is going to be used in the home um, I would say you definitely need to take into consideration how you know close together your children like to play you know do they like a lot of space or do they not really mind you know playing really close together so if there's a family that maybe has four young children or you know five young children um, I would at that point suggest that you purchase more than one of these tables or go with an option um, and have the company make you a larger size table which I spoke to them and I asked them you know what if a family wants a, a table that's quite larger um, they said that they actually will do custom tables so if you do have a family with a lot of small children you can actually get this table made in a larger size um, they are made in the United States in New York and it you know it's a really great company they really have oh, it's a really fast mode um, they really have such a great lay table here and I very much again like I said I really appreciate how bright the white is and how true it is oh okay so let me just put it back on non flashing color there we go so we're back on white Oh, and I also wanted to point out that most of these LED remotes, when you get a color change of light table, they have like a dim and bright kind of thing. So you can adjust that and see it's going down lower and then making it brighter. Oops, I had that camera at a really weird angle, angle there. It's giving me a little bit of a problem. There we go. And then of course, if you have, you know, if you put it on blue, you're going to get that that black light look. So it's like you get a black table, black light table, and a light table all at the same time. Let me get this back to white. All right. Well, let me brighten that back up again. I'm going to go ahead and put the link for this video. Uh, or I'm sorry for the blog post that's going to go along with this video um, in the description and hopefully everybody will go check out the blog post and check out the light table maybe you want to get one of these this is the logo wonder one and then their website is wonder dot one all right well thank you so much for watching